Good news everybody, today I'm taking the Blue Beast back into Boost. Alright, so it's been a long journey just to get here, but I'm finally back where I was about eight months ago. Except I've got a new controller with new features. Let's see how it works. Starts, runs. Alright, I've got torque up and running. Let me go and set my boost target. 4 PSI, you can hear the wastegate move over. Now, let's have some fun. Now, I have it set for 4 PSI right now, and the biggest reason I have it set only for 4 PSI is because I'm not tuned for more than that, and I don't have a knock baseline yet. I'm still working on that, but more to come. Woo-wee! Ha-ha! <laughs> All right, I am getting a little bit of spark blowout. I need to figure that out. That's gonna just bug the crap out of me. I do have to rewire the coil, so that's going to be on another, uh, another episode here shortly. But, it's not bad. Changing out the spark plugs really did make an absolute huge difference. The old dirty spark plugs were causing some of the misfire, I know. I'm thinking I might have a little bit too much water injection on the top end, and that could be causing uh, the misfires now too. We'll have to see. Now the other thing is that uh, rotary engines have a problem clearing water out, so if you uh, spray too much at too low an RPM and too low flow rate, or excuse me, too low an airflow, you can have the uh, water just get flung out into the spark plugs cause misfires. So I can either lower my uh, water injection rate or I could actually increase the dwell on the coils. The coils can handle it. First, I want to make sure that this isn't an actual spark plug or coil or lead issue. But this is looking good so far. And this is only 4 PSI. Even with it just being 4 PSI though, it's fun! Ho -ho! Yep, definitely need to figure that out. But, gosh, this is just such a joy to drive. You think 4 PSI is good though? I have had it up to 8 before, but not with this electronics version. My next step before going further into boost will be to get a better knock baseline for the entire RPM band. That way I can cut boost or add water injection if I start getting any detonation. I'm not really worried about that at 4 PSI. Also, I need to get my fuel pump pressure controller working so then I can make some course adjustments so I don't have to reflash every time I want to change a little bit of the fueling. I would like to have the ability to do course adjustment on ignition timing as well. That would be really beneficial, especially when I start playing with lean burn and want to get into, uh, into cruising and lean burn. So I have a lot of things left to do with this. It's going to take a while, but right now, I'm happy. RX-8 and Boost, happy. RX-8 not and Boost, sad. Sad. It's really addictive. If you've liked this episode of Voiding Warranties and you want to see more stuff that uh, I'm doing with the car and with other projects around the house, please subscribe. And if you just like this video because you think it's awesome, I mean, I think it's awesome, then uh, click like. 
and keep on voiding warranties. It really is a joy to drive. Oh my goodness. Let's see, other things I need to add. I need to add uh, a cruise where it opens up the wastegate for fuel economy. I need to add a silent cruise for low RPM, low load, where it closes the wastegate. I may not add that this time. I didn't really like it the last time. You know what? I just want to do that one. I need to store the fuel injector size and flash memory. And I need to make some new tables for the fuel pump demand and for uh, adjusting the leading and trailing timing. Woohoo! And if I get all that stuff done, this will be an amazing project.